Girl, this gives me very. It is 3 a.m. <laughs> we are underneath a bridge, and you you threw on everything that you can find. If I from saw the... that under a bridge at 3 a.m., I would run. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Mirror Mangle and Robin Hearts, and welcome to another Mangled Morning. Woo! Woo! Robin, how are you? I am feeling electric. How about that? I'm feeling a little stiff. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to go for a little Derek Berry Tin Man, an iconic look. There's a him everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's a him. <laughs> uh, today we are looking at the iconically bad looks from Drag mm -hmm, Race. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about just, you know, they were in the bottom that week. We're talking about the worst of the worst, the ultimate design disasters. The and also, that's another part of it, too, is we're not... There have been some bad looks on the runway, but they brought them. Mm -hmm. We're only looking at the they, worst. That's a different list. It came in their suitcase. Right. Today's list is the ones they made there. The <laughs> ultimate worst looks of all time. But before we get into that list, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and join the Patreon where you can see all kinds of additional content you can't see on YouTube. Plus, you're helping support the channel. Now, you can also support the channel by tipping on Vimbor Cash App like these fine folks did. Big shout out to Jameson D, who said, I always cheers uh, my mug and slap my legs whenever <laughs> I have a good day with y'all. Every day with y'all. It's like a habit whenever you say it, you, you got to. Yeah. Uh, and they have a good day. Mm -hmm. I stumbled over that. I'm trying to put in that they said that they had a good day. I'm going to say that that made their day good. Uh, they also said never change unless your growth is taking you there. Just, uh, I like that they put that on there because sometimes it's like, girl, you you might want to change a little, <laughs> just a little bit. Also, big shout out to the OG Mike G who said he when we did the snatch game video about worst snatch games, he was quoting Lil Kenya Michaels and said it's the medication for me. You remember when she's Beyonce? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Horrible. Girl. Speaking of horrible, let's get into our list. Now, first, we're going to start off with our double offenders. <sighs> Folks that have, you know, just been the worst more than once. Shangela is a great place to start. She's probably one of the most iconic at being bad at the design challenges. Because and she, her clutch was she didn't know how to sew. She had just started doing drag. She was just so new. Right, right. She was so... I love Shangela now. I'm just, you know... No, those are things she said. What happened when she came back to All Stars 3, though? Because that bottom one is All Stars 3 after she said she learned how to sew. <laughs> Although I do love that she gave the sewing machine the iconic name Bertha. Because <laughs> other queens will say that now, too. Work, Bertha! She does have her moments, but she does not have a sewing moment. She never has, yeah. Because she's had other design challenges that also were bottoms mm -hmm. that weren't, aren't here. But these are the two worst. I'm just Frostula. I'm just looking at that snowman. She looks like one of the wacky, inflatable, arm flailing tube men. I think we're going to notice a trend too of some of these where they could have spent a little bit more time on the look they needed to instead of making a snowman or making a prop. Like, girl, you're you look busted. Why do you want to make that snowman also look busted? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what you spent your time on? Th you know, like, she could have used her time better. I don't think Frosty would approve. The one from All Stars. You learned how to sew. We can't tell, though. Because you put look, a streamer on those yourself. Those look like those little, um, those little paper plates. <laughs> they do look like paper plates. They're supposed to be records, but, like, what shape is that? Who is that for? Maybe one day, if Shangela comes back a fourth time, she will get the design redemption. Well, you know, that's why some people need, you know, dressers. I'm, like, looking at help. you behind this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... Yes? Yeah. Oh. You have a little pointy shoulder, too. I do have a little pointy Did you shoulder. make this look? I did make this look. You make all your own looks, right? Mm -hmm. Like, Robin can sew. You would kill a, a, a design and challenge. That, that's why I get so excited about, like, the desi design challenges, because mm -hmm. I can sew. Like, I, it took me, what is it? It took me forever to stone the costume, but I made the costume. I stoning. Super fast. Well, and that's another good reason to do this list now, because there might be someone joining this list at the ball. Okay. This coming week. Yes, so. yes, yes. Next, it is Derek Barry. This Tin Man, this look was supposed to be the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz, inspired by that. It was so confusing and it such a It gave me, you know, costume, store, give me everything in silver, and I'm just going to put it together. It just doesn't work. It doesn't even give me that. <laughs> It gives me gray bodysuit with a tablecloth and some dicks on your shoulder. You said I was being very polite. Correct. Right, right. <laughs> I see I see even less is what I'm saying. Bless her heart. Her and Michelle have a very famous back and forth where she said, everywhere you look, there's a him. And Michelle goes, it's a piece of fabric. And then the corset that she made, that was for the book ball. Honestly, all the other looks were amazing. So they had to make the look out of books. And she kind of did the same thing where she took a corset, but she hot glued books onto it this time. Pages from books. She's so raw and just yeah. says what she feels. I think that's when she's funniest. 
but designing is just not her thing so far. Again, maybe one day she'll get the redemption for this too. Also season eight, Robbie Turner, her season eight sissy. Oh, these are just absolute garbage. Now, wait a minute. So the top look is was a, a dog inspired look. So she had to take materials that were like for the dog ball and make a look. And she looks like Mrs. Claus's misshapen hoe. Was I asleep during this episode or during this season? Cause I don't remember her. She was in, she was like eliminated right before Derek. If you think that Derek's Tin Man was bad. That is just. That's her cowardly lion. That's lazy. That is, I wouldn't have even. You get cowardly lion and instead of putting the wigs on your head, you put them on your shoulder. Girl, this gives me very, it is 3 a.m. <laughs> we are underneath a bridge and you you threw on everything that you can find. If I from saw the... that <laughs> under a bridge at 3 a.m., I would run. <laughs> That hard front wig? No, ma'am. Baby, she... They're just... She got her Keisha on her chest. Like, I don't know if she's airing that wig out or if she's trying to make a fashion statement. Right. Like, what... It, she, it's supposed to be... It's supposed to be a fashion statement. But it's like, not again, giving. yeah, why would you take the wig and put it on your shoulder? And I know that people use, you know, hair... Then they should be matching shoulders that look... Yeah. But this is not how you do it. Next is Asia O'Hara. She's never in the bottom. She's always bottom three, but should be in the bottom for some of these. And she's amazing. She's a really amazing seamstress. Let's be real too. A lot of these are like the pressure of the competition mixed with like putting it together. Like your I mind can, can just. I can attest like literally you can put something out on paper and then like you're sewing the costume like you said. All of a sudden, it's giving you issues. At some point, you you break down and be like, okay, look, well then I'm gonna we're gonna go to Plan C. Plan D. You skip Plan B. Z. Yes. Yes. <laughs> because A wasn't working and B is not going to work either. <laughs> and then you said C through W. We're skipping those Correct. two. Correct. The bottom one, she did say that like she was too busy helping the other girls and didn't finish her look. And I remember that. And yes, it was true. And, and I was like, girl, that. stop helping them out. Dollar Tree Challenge. She just decided to wear everything from the Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. And it's a very uh, not flattering shape, I guess. Very Cindy Lou Who. Uh, <laughs> At least this one is like put together, but it's still, it still is it's just a, a lot going on. It's assaulting to the eyes. Yes. <laughs> and the fact that we chose neon. She loves some neon, doesn't she? Also from season 10, Dusty Ray Bottoms in those same challenges. The first one, she also looks like she's going for Tin Man, but I don't think that was the goal. She took car visors. I mean, at least with hers, I can see a concept. It gives me very Harry Potter. <laughs> She is Hufflepuff. At the Dollar Tree. <laughs> she is Hufflepuff. I feel like the, the shape is all wrong, but this also goes back to what I said before. People need to know what works best on their, on shape. their shape. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look Look at those legs. Like you you see, you have all this stuff up here at the top and then those long legs at the bottom with like the, the, the tights. Mm -hmm. I can't. And then the next one she made, this was for the ball. Never a fan like, of a costume that has like that wide of a bikini line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the cut of it? Yes, yeah. I do well, granny not panty. like that because it looks like granny panty slash I'm hiding a moose knuckle. Oh. It's just not flattering. Well, and she, like you pointed out in the first one, she has long legs and it cuts back on your legs. So like if you're sh a shorter girl like me, you cannot wear a cut like that at all. Correct. But also she shouldn't wear it either. <laughs> Next, Nina West on season 11, a double offender as well. She looks like a herpes sore in this first one. Okay, so just, look. Hear me out. Oh, no. <laughs> well, what? Oh, you were going to defend the look? No, I wasn't. Oh. I can't defend that one. I guess the fabric could have worked for something else, but it's not a great fabric to make a dress in, period. Like, it's better for, like, a tight bodysuit or something. Correct, but then you have all that stuff up there at the top, so you have, like, this hair that's doing, like, this weird shape, and then you have this and the shoulder shape, piece so, yeah. that's doing this. That's And you. then the pus balls. She cut out little circles and put balls on it. Why? Oh, you could have did without. That's the kind of thing that happens to you. Like, um, when you do get in your head. So she probably made the dress and then she was like, this isn't enough. I know what'll fix it. Pus balls. <laughs> it's like, it's like the, the concept of like, okay, well, let's just add on more crap just to make it better. Right. Now this next one was during a unconventional challenge. I could see the shape she was going for is very that like RuPaul <laughs> thing. <laughs> But man, the shit. In this picture, actually, it looks better in this picture than it did on the runway. I just can't get past the wig. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> I, I can't see anything else. There's just a lot of different things going on, and I can't get past that. And the, the vegetables look a little rotted. Oh, is it eggplant? 
I don't know what it is. Corn husks, I don't know, leaves. Okay, so that was all of our double offenders. Now we're going to jump in and just look at some folks from different categories. The first category is the uh, Rupocalypse on Season 4. We've got Jiggly Caliente and Elisa Summers. These were the bottom two and they deserved it. Jiggly literally did what we talked about earlier. She took everything that was in there and threw it on her costume. Baked potato couture. <laughs> right. She threw everything on there. She just kept adding stuff thinking that would help it. And it didn't help. It's still one of the worst looks ever. And when she came back for All Stars, she got eliminated at the design challenge. And I almost put that one in here as a double offender, but it's just the poncho. It's just an ugly poncho. Correct. So it was better. It's not like a disaster. This is a disaster. But this one is. And Elisa invented the tool coming out the boobs. Mm -hmm. So that's something. And she had a fly swatter. Definitely not a fan. There, <laughs> what is going on? Okay. So. I was going to say, there's no like um, concept behind it. You know, like it's just a slutty mess. <laughs> Soft sculpture, Serena Cha Cha. Serena's is one of the legendary looks that's just so I bad. remember this look and it was just very... She said it was soft sculpture. That's what she called it. She said it was art. Do you feel inspired? To make it better. <laughs> I said that to you. <laughs> Spe speaking of that, I, as, I was, as I was making this look, I kept trying to do things to it to make it better, mm -hmm. I guess. But I had to keep restraining myself. So I'm like, no, I'm supposed to be re recreating the look. Make it bad. It was hard to recreate the look and make it as bad as she did. But I think I managed. I think you did. You <laughs> managed. Yeah. And Serena, the shape was weird. And the, the shape, the tool, the hair. The hair and the neck. The and, scarf is... No. She's cutting off her head. Her head looks like it's chopped off. Well, you know, they would have helped her in the workroom, but no one liked her, so... Next, uh, we have quite a few from season six that are fun to talk about. The first two are understated. I didn't include a lot of understated looks, because that's just kind of boring. But I did want to include these two. Magnolia Crawford and Kelly Mantle. Because I couldn't not include Kelly Mantle's bacon. And so once, you know, her bacon chest. Oh. And then once I did that, I said, well, then we have to have the meat too. So I had the cow. Well, the shape isn't even there. And so it's just like. Uninspired. I got this print and that's it. And then. You and know, that's just awful. Kelly's, it's just drab. She clearly had no inspiration for the look. There are so many things wrong with that. What's the black, what's that black strip for? Is that like the band? It's probably holding the skirt up. Probably holding it together. It's all a no. Huh. That's when you put two things on that you know don't match and you're, th you're trying to make them work uh -huh. and that's just not working. And this was the season six split premiere so they both were the first to go home technically and for it, those looks. And it shows. Also in that same challenge we had to include two that threw everything in because that's where it's a real mess. Adore Delano and Jocelyn Fox also okay. infamous for that. I love these queens but these looks are not it. This looks like Powerpuff meets Little Mermaid. Like I can't Honey, I don't... Mm. You know that that little pink belt is literally holding all that together. <laughs> like, look at the, how the fabric stripped I think she, like It's like she wrapped the, the green around and then did the silver and then said belt. And then hurry, the belt, hurry. Save me. Right. <laughs> and Jocelyn, just too much. Another granny panty <laughs> cut. That cut is horrible. I get what she's going for. But the shape she created is just too much. And one too many colors, too. Like, why is there a white button? Why is there a white she one? She is a float. That's what she is. is. She wanted She's to a pride be. float. She wanted to be a float. On season seven, they had to do this nude runway. You had to make a resort look and then come out in a nude look. Mm -hmm. Tibbis du jour went home, and her resort look is just not interesting. And then her nude body illusion was horrible. Because it was just the saggy, flat. Yeah, and it doesn't look like, like it doesn't sell as a nude illusion. She had the big crab on her crotch for some reason. The whole point of the nude illusion is for you not to see the nude illusion. You're not fooled for one second. Almost looks white. That, because of the flash and the camera. So I, she should have done like a power mesh. Jasmine has the iconic cocoon. So she says in her voice. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm putting out the cocoon. I'm a butterfly in the cocoon. If you're going to do the cocoon and come out as a butterfly, bitch, you better give me butterfly. Yes. This don't give no butterfly. It also is a stretch with the nude illusion. This gives me very much so. I'm going to get you, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Little Foxy Brown. Yes. And that's a bodysuit with an accessory. It is not the nude illusion. Mm -mm. Right, because you almost made a whole dress out of the fringe. Mm -hmm. That could have been interesting, but that wasn't the challenge today. These next two are queens who put corsets on, yet the corset made their shape super unflattering. <laughs> a corset does not work unless it is pulled tight and fits. Naisha Lopez on season eight, a lot from season eight making the list, and then Lemon from Canada season one. Naisha is so beautiful. And she, uh, once, right, you can very much tell 
that that corset that she made that looks horrible is probably holding the whole dress together. Correct. But girl, why is it so loose? It is supposed to be, you know, we supposed to... Lemon went even further with it because she said, well, okay, well, I'll give you a football. <laughs> Once again, in the white panty. It's giving me very Princess Peach is trying to play rugby. <laughs> it is. I, yeah, that, that course is not doing nothing for your shape. And it's guess actually, what? I don't need to see Peach play rugby after seeing no. this. After this, no. But, put, put your dress back on, girl. <laughs> put it back on. Yeah, if you're going to wear But why that color, though? And why the why the stocking? Which color? Look at all those colors. They're, none of it makes sense. It doesn't at all. Vinegar Strokes on UK. She had another nude illusion that's horrible. Mm -hmm. And then took the book and just made a mess. Made a disaster, honestly. And that's that one bodysuit that everyone gets off of AliExpress. And it never looks right on anybody. Doesn't even the, remotely. The, 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 uh, what is it? The spray painted, like the airbrush right. tits look horrible. I remember the first time I saw one of those and like someone had it. And they were literally like feeling their face. They felt like they were the thing. And I'm just like... If you could only see it from how I'm seeing it, <laughs> you would not be acting like that. I don't know, though, because I, I don't know if you ever experienced this, but sometimes I see clips that girls will post of their performances, and I'm like, you posted that? Okay, because... So you watched that back, and you Sometimes, you it? like, I have some really good videos, and I'll see something wrong, and I'm like, oh, can't post that? Oh, if I see one little thing wrong, oh, I'm like, yep. that's not Trash. going nowhere. Like, actually, I'll save it, but I won't post it ever. Right. La La Ree with the bags, the, the paper thing bags. Is, I was just talking about this costume to, over this runway to somebody, like, two days ago. Shangela, for the longest time, held the record as like the worst designer ever. This... And Lala said, hold my beer. Now I will say her face is B. Sure, her mug is beautiful. And but... I love her as a person. She's hilarious and sweet and kind. Girl, you know better. This is mental illness. That gay, <laughs> I, <laughs> there is no other explanation. This is a mental breakdown. This is a full on mental breakdown. I can relate, but I wouldn't create art out of it. Like, <laughs> you literally I wouldn't wear it. Even... Just bag it. <laughs> just bag it. The audacity, you didn't add a coat. To walk you didn't, on you didn't add anything extra. Just put the bags on. <laughs> right. Like, okay, so you get the bags. You don't cut them up or anything. You leave the handle. Don't do, you, you don't write anything on them. You don't, you know, sprinkle, sprinkle them in glitter. She could have connected them with like chain or like um, at least it's string and like, and that then, been cute. and like had it hanging on yeah. there. Have a whole little concept. If you are going to do it where you don't cut them up. But Correct. there's a million things you can do cutting them yes. off. Yes. And then all of that to like, if okay, you have the patches and all that, but then to glue it onto a black bodysuit where then we can see the missing holes. And... Correct. Ooh. Or she could have made it an accessory because I feel like I remember for this challenge, they only were given so many materials. It was a, I think this was the bag ball. So yeah. like they had bag, they had to make something out of bags. I get that, but just, figure it out. There's just no reason for this. There's no reason this should have happened. Or honestly... For her season uh, 13 sisters, someone should have st stepped in and said, are you okay? Someone should, oh, let me help you out. And no, because... They let her walk out there like that. Mm. The next one is Brillo pads. With unconventional materials, sometimes you get stuff that's not easy to work with. Mm -hmm. But in both of these cases, this is Bag of Chips and Tace. It was like a yard sale theme. So there's tons of materials to use. Yet they both chose Brillo pads. Which I feel is just it's so horrible. uncomfortable. Now, Lemon, who already made the list with the corset, she also made a Brillo pad look. However, it's not quite as bad as these two. The shape that Baga made, she looks like Zaggy, Bag of Trash. Saggy Baggy. Saggy Bag of Trash. Especially on the bottom. The very next season, Taste doesn't learn the lesson. And this is better, but then the crotch is like barely anything. Oh my gosh, that's the you know, space crotch thing. Right. Right, we go from having like granny panties to like too much crotch. A girl will literally have to spray that to make it stay. Mm. So that is not dangerous. She cut herself many times with the Brillo pads. Also, imagine what the, these Brillo pads would do to your tights and stuff. Ugh. Everything would be cut up. Your dress. I instantly ruined. just like your body is going to be cut up. Yeah, but then it's also probably going to be bro broken out. It's just a lot of. I can just. Ugh, I can't. And that will what? just like when Tyra was like um, hot glue and stuff on her. Girl. Oh, right. right. But this honestly is worse because this will leave scratch that could lead to bleeding. Like with the hot glue gun, because I've done that to myself no, many times. I mean, not that I am saying that it's a good thing to do. This one still has a one away. Oh, shit. 
Yeah, it's like, and that's why I'm like, girl, you stupid. Like, it's gonna leave marks and scars. Mm -hmm. And this was on accident. Actually, yeah. this happened with, with this. So we won't talk about it. With the look you're wearing right now? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's a good segue. Have you had any, like, real design disasters where you made something and then you looked at it afterwards and you're like, what the hell did I do? Oh my gosh, yes. It's breakdown, because I'm like, I spend two days making this and I don't even like it. And now right. I'm not gonna even wear it and I'm not gonna sell it. So then it's just like, I'm mad at myself. Yeah. And so then I throw it like in this little bin that I'm gonna cut up later. Times where I get in trouble if I don't ever take a break mm -hmm. or if mm -hmm. I take too long of a break. Yes. You know that you're tired or you know you need to step away and look back at the look. If you just keep pushing yourself to go, I've definitely done that where I've stepped back afterwards and been like, oh, that's not what I wanted at all. And how did I not see that as I was making it? Correct. Because sometimes you just get in your headspace and you're just like doing it. You get caught up. I'll get frustrated with the caption whenever like either my machine's messing up or like the fabric is messing up and I just cannot catch a break. I will sometimes step back because if I angry so, <laughs> it never is, it never ends no. out good. No, never it ends out good. Because you're rushing too. Mm -hmm. you're and I'm just like, fast. And I'm pulling it and I'm like, oh, whatever. If you're working on one little section and you think what you're doing is right, mm -hmm. but then you look at it as a whole and you're like, oh no, that's not what I wanted at all. Y'all, there are some times whenever like, I'm going in, in go mode and I put a sleeve on and it's inside out. Nothing oh. drops my heart more than seeing that and yeah. then I instantly get so mad. I do this way more often where I will start something and then I'll just like, I guess not feel as inspired to finish it. Mm -hmm. But if I don't, then it's gonna, like it ends up taking a long Correct. time. And then when I do go back to it, then I just don't care. And so then I end up messing it up. That's why we are so alike. So I will start a project and if I'm not feeling it, I will, okay, I'll hang it up. If I come back to it and I'm still not into it, it's just a draft. These next two, I would not want to cosplay. <laughs> they are the misshapen ladies of Drag Race. We've got Miss Vanjie, flowers and Barbies and just a big blob. Vanjie. And then a couple years later, Veronica Green said, you know what, I'll do that too and make it art. Once again, shape. Vanjie, I, I don't think she knew what she was going for. And this could no... have been so good too. And she's so small. She could have made it like, you know, a little sexy little ditty number. Which she did. I, I doubt she made it. But someone made a version of this look for her that had a beautiful corset and everything that she wore at DragCon. That looked really good. Like, mm -hmm. it was basically like, here's the upgraded version. It gave her shade. But at least we got the iconic Miss Vanjie line from mm -hmm. that. Vanjie. You know, imagine if she didn't go home first and if she did do well in this one. Correct. We wouldn't have got all the Vanjie love that we have now. I will say, I was just so mesmerized because she was just so stunned to me. And I was, was just like, oh my gosh, girl, face. Ah, so tiny. And then Veronica, I, you know, this was seasons after Miss Vanjie. How did you let yourself do this and not see? When you this? get too in your head about the idea. Veronica's a Taurus. She gets in her head a lot. It's like a borderline of I'm making it art, but I'm also making it like... It's like living art almost, yes. but it's not connecting. And we're, I can, we're not getting it. Like, this is one where I can see that her idea is mm -hmm. just not well executed. Correct. She looks more like a butterfly than uh, Jasmine did. <laughs> <laughs> now we're looking at tubing. Vanny de Milan on UK, and then Spanky Jackson on Down Under. They don't like when you hot glue stuff to a corset anyway. It just makes them look bigger anyway. And it's harder to cover the corset properly. Correct. I'm good at covering a little corset, but you it's all in the details. And if you're yep. going to be lazy with it, it's going to look like you covering a corset. Crap, crap on a corset. <laughs> you know who did this really, the corset thing really well was, you remember the candy dress that Roxy Andrews made? Yes. You couldn't see no corset under there. Oh, sick me. You know, like, oh, it was beautiful. Where's the bottom, Spanky? No bottoms. Where is bare leg? No lotion on the legs. Throw it away. Throw Absolutely. it all the way. <laughs> Next, they took the mint and just tortured it. <laughs> so I was really excited. I was really, I was really excited because because Black Peppa had the idea to do this weaving and it sounded really cool. And I'm like, oh, this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> but it turns out she can't really execute the weaving. Go get this. Get I this tried to weave out of my this face. basket dress outfit, but I can't get past the knees. <laughs> we should have put makeup on them too. I cannot. <laughs> the fabric didn't um, flow. It didn't move. It was it was kind of thicker. Yeah. And it looks it looks like it like there's there's no stretch to that anyway. So it's just gonna be 
And then to do a long Stiff. teeth skirt out of mm-hmm. fabric like that. The next two are queens who took the idea of covering the corset and then also did a very uninspired bottom. Calorie Kardashian with the paper. So she had the mm-hmm. money ball oh, that yeah. she was doing. I remember and that. just wrecked it. And you could see the corset underneath all over the place. It's Once messy. again, it's a, it's a covered corset. Yeah. Now, I will say like how she placed the dollars was really nice on the corset, but it kind of ruins it when you see the black underneath and right. when, you, when you literally just see that that's just a corset. And then they were not as well placed on the skirt. The mm-hmm. skirt looks like no. a mess, like mm-hmm. wrecked. Yeah, you're right. The the top, it, it could have been better if it was completely covered. Lil Cynthia Lee Fontaine. I mean, I bet you could, if we got close enough, you could Those probably see a safety pin there. things. Uh, she, yeah. so it was like a, that skirt, she did nothing to it. She wrapped and the, the tablecloth around her. And, this, and the slit is in the front. It's lit smack dab in the front. Maybe that's what she was going for with the candy corset too, because that split is right in the front there too. <laughs> A mess. Like you got candy and that's what you did. Oof. Alexis Michelle. This was the, um, what was this challenge? It was the um, YMCA, what are they called? Village people. The corset that she nearly went blind stoning actually is pretty. But then to glue the bow to your head, to your wig, and that flat wig, and it's just, it's. I would have went a completely different route and not this. I feel. <laughs> well, yeah. That's what I said as I was making Derek's look. I wanted to do things to make it better. And I was like, well, at the end of the day, I wouldn't even even started here with the Tin Man. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> but I also feel like sometimes people feel like they need to have something flashy or Accessories like sh- and... shiny. It's two different looks here. We got Debs on the top and traditional on the bottom. Yeah. This was very like, okay, if I had the bow, if I had the purse, if I had the stole, then it'll make it better. Like, correct. She correct. thought she was taking it up a notch when it was making it worse with each what edition. Are the, what are the earrings giving? <laughs> I don't even know. They look like little potatoes. Tamisha Amon during the bag runway. Just like Alexis's, I think with both of these, you can see what they were going for. Mm-hmm. But the end result is not attractive to look at. I will, I will say like, not every concept or idea is gonna work with every fabric choice you have and like the shinier the fabric the worse it might look for her style that's her style she'll do right like, like the pleated stuff she or would like, wear a dress like that mm-hmm. but that's not right that co- not these <laughs> there's bags. too many patterns going on <laughs> we got the little the little i don't even know they're like little bags it almost looks like the silver is a coins mm-hmm and then that's like some sh- and a football sh- the shoulder's the best part but it doesn't go with the rest of the look really Cause she had to wear she had to wear the titties, so that was, <laughs> that was another piece of the outfit. She designed the whole look around the like Elisa Summers designed around the titties. Everyone has one of those necklaces. I have one in red <laughs> and in blue. <laughs> I think we've seen that on here at least twice already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this was the ball ball on season twelve. We've got Rock and Sakura and Britta filter. Let's start with Britta's because it's not as no. rough to look at. Again, you can see what she's going for. There's. Shapes that do work, like she's got a great silhouette overall. The worst part though, I think this one makes the list <laughs> for the shoe. <laughs> the mini mouse shoes. Right. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what are those? Daisy Duck, big ass <laughs> shoes. I just feel like, you know. This she, is the ultimate shoe fail. She's camp and I feel like sometimes she doesn't realize that you don't need to be that camp yeah. in order to get your point across. And we could have done without those shoes and you could have hiked that skirt up past your knee. And or I, at least put a slit in it or something. <laughs> yeah. When you're making it, just leave a hole in it. <laughs> Upside down pineapple. That shoe. Yeah, that's got... Like, I love how you were, we were waiting to get to the shoe because the shoe... That's why I made the list, honestly. <laughs> the shoe. Oh my gosh. Rocks, can't. again, I can see that she probably... Like, I can see that she has an inspiration in what she was going for. But the final product is just a mess. If she would have chose three colors... Mmm... I'm telling you, I can see it. If you would have, because there's just too many colors. It's just like yeah. you have all this stuff. Right. But like this, the the way that it's like designed, it could work, but she threw up on Did it. too much. What's with the long front of your crotch open? Like was why do we see all the new? Was this supposed to be like the clown look or? No, it was just they had to design a look at made out of balls and this is what she did. Well, it, it's giving me very clown. <laughs> Well, there you go. Tia Coffee was very infamous for making some rough looks. The styling here is, you know, like the ruching with the bow, and then the ruching here is like giving me very 80s. Mm-hmm. And this, then the lime green, it's just- the, the skirt is very flat, and you can see how like it's not cut, like 
even. There's not an even him, so let's make it jagged, which makes it look worse. Tia is like 6'2", like a supermodel. She doesn't look like that. This is no. so unflattering. It literally, sh no, that, by that skirt being so long, it shrunk her. I guess there's just also something I hate about those two greens together. Forest green mixed mm -hmm. with lime green? No, look. Why? No, wait a minute, because what do I have on? Um, but green. No, those work together. Green's my favorite color. Because those are, you've got like highlighter yellow and green, highlighter green. Mm hmm. Like that works together. Sister, sister. This was, I think, actually a superhero inspired challenge. And so she just came as the garden. The flower power. The, the trolls, you know. The <laughs> <laughs> She used everything and looks like the garbage threw up on her. But also, I think the color choice from like the the garment itself. Oh, that by means. being beige, and then you have like these vibrant colors that's like these huge props. That's throwing it off too. So it's like okay, they don't even go together. Yeah, correct. So then it's like okay, so is your costume about your props or is it about your actual costume? Where do you want us to look? Correct. We don't know where to look. <laughs> And then our hair blends in with the costume. Next, we're headed to Spain, and we've got Poopy Poison, who came as the <laughs> toilet. Appropriate name for this look. She chose to make a bathroom-themed look. What like would a bathroom-themed... No. Uh, no one... Hold, hold on, wait. No one asked her to make a bathroom-themed look. <laughs> that wasn't the challenge that day. <laughs> so, we don't need to ponder what would a bathroom-themed look look like, because why would you? Very true. Maybe a spa look, maybe a why, shower look. Why would you? Not a toilet themed look with the loofah and all. And she looks really happy. She's proud of it. The second one is Estrella. <laughs> <laughs> this fabric has popped up a lot. Why is it lopsided? <laughs> It looks very uncomfortable. She made the pant, but and then the only other thing she made was probably the the breast thing. That's all you made, and that's not even right. Damn. I would have at least added some straps, so that way I know that it was secure and I could move. Are like those wonder, oven mitts? They look like it, don't they? They might have been. I don't remember. That looks like some oven mitts. Cut a piece of cardboard out, threw some aluminum foil on that, and then wrap that other stuff in some uh, silver fabric. This is mental illness in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> We go from Spain to Canada. Adriana, this is the sister to Elisa Summers with the titties with the fabric coming out. This is just a pink doily. Uh, again, the corset is could be pulled tighter if you're going to do that. Like, you can tell she covered the corset, but other mm -hmm. than that, she just drapes stuff around her. Yeah, the crotch is too long. What are the garters for? <laughs> she got a flower at the end of it. Like, now that is, if you're trying to draw attention, that's the only way you would do to draw attention to it. Yeah, but if you're going to put a flower on it, do it higher and higher not and smaller. Lower. Another thing we see is if a girl is designing a look around a breastplate, it usually doesn't work out right. <laughs> because they're, it's all about the breastplate. Right. Next <laughs> is Kamora Amora. I can see the idea. And I do like that, see, unlike some of the other ones, she restrained herself with the number of colors. So I appreciate that. But the shape is just so unflattering. She looks like one of them crochet candy dish girls. What? <laughs> okay, so this... <laughs> <laughs> so there are these little candy dishes. It's like a jar. Okay. And people crochet like a little dress that looks to sit on to put on that it. looks just like that. And you have like this little doll from waist up that looks like because the, they usually have like a little hat on. <laughs> I need you to. Pull. I know what you're talking about. I Baby. bet. I bet that on the maybe on the mannequin this looked better, but then like the sh yeah. No. I think the shape got a. You said no? It looks. It's too jagged. No. We knew what it gave when it was on the mannequin, too. I think it's napkins or paper. Like, they're not well disguised. Yeah. And they're just too heavy instead of, like, thinning them out more. I feel like right. if you would have thinned like, them out more. Taking the time to create a specific shape and design all the way around versus, like, you, there's sections where she looks like she just shoved some napkins up in there. Because I can even see a cool transition of since, like, that top is pink, doing the layer on the skirt being pink and then doing the lighter, the. Well, yeah, the darker blue to the lighter blue and like uh -huh. fading it. Yeah, radiated. Girl. That could have been cute. We're sticking with Canada. Uh -oh. First, we've got Jada Shada Hudson. She went with a space theme and space got away from her. This looks like Shandala's Shandala outfit and Mimi, I'm first. The space themed. If those two looks from their fight in that yeah. day. Yeah, had, <laughs> had a baby. A baby. Her. Yes. And you see the explosion on top. It's like, what a fight. Oh my gosh, she just needs some lips for some eyes. <laughs> <laughs> this cut could have been fierce, but you can see where it's cut at mm -hmm. every point. It's just a raw hem and it just doesn't... Once again, it also looks boxy. The idea of the hair almost like explosion at the top, the tubing like that, could be could have worked fiercely. But like, why is the hair long and flat, like wavy at the bottom? <laughs> and it like, has kinky and afro at the top. <laughs> like, what if it was, like, if it was pulled back? 
and yes. and up underneath, and then it, that was at the top. That could have been cool, but that's not what she did. Good. You literally called it out. It's a wig with another different texture wig on top. <laughs> Just stuck on top. Stuck it on top and called it macaroni. The next two are a couple of all-stars. We've got Jinx Monsoon on All Star 7. Mm -hmm. And then we've got Rita Baga on Canada vs. the World. These are both like fluffy All Star fails. Very recent. Um, now, Jinx did design one look or a couple looks back on season five. Remember the one she had to lip sync in? Mm -hmm. I actually think, because at first I was like, do I put that on the list? The look is not horrible. She just didn't use the candy very well. Yeah. You know, yeah. this one is not attractive to me. I don't like the bouffante hair. Like, I'm just not a fan. The the lip. And then I hate when people do dangly weird things at the crotch. I, we don't need fringe at the crotch. We've talked about this before. What makes it even worse, you can see, like, the little strip that the fringe is attached to. I don't understand the one purple tight leg and then all this tool coming off the side. And then the purple arm band, which like, okay, the purple leg, like at least They're not the same like color. They're the not purple the... <laughs> arm looks like, um, almost like a medical sports <laughs> because does, And I get what she's it? trying to, yes, I get what she's trying to do, you know, this side has purple on it, this leg has purple on it, but they're not the same fabric. But also, like you said, it looks like it's like one of them wrist ones to keep your circulation <laughs> Right. <laughs> Which, you know, at our ages, we sometimes need them. Correct. But keep that blood flow. At least make the, the knee one match. And then Rita Baga just gave us loofah. Big loofah. Uh, velvet is hard to work with. I will say that. But she this, said, I wanted hem sleeve cuffs. What makes this one worse is the colors. Yeah. Or just, just makes no. you think of dirty makes me think of me that diarrhea <laughs> diarrhea here i go again my my how can i resist you up next maddie morphosis on season 14 this is a mental breakdown too and this is another one just like shangela way back at the beginning where okay so you took the time to make your blow up doll a whole outfit yet you walked out there looking like that this entertainer does this a lot with their stuff over things or is very conceptual when it comes to like their art and how they want to portray their look right just can't execute it when they have to design it clearly because the idea is right the big yellow band in the middle and... but i also feel like for a romery challenge whenever they do i hate whenever or hate the song but i just don't like it whenever they rely on a prop more than the actual oh. part it's supposed to be a distraction from how horrible the look is. And that, and that's also why she gave it the character. Like, she painted her lip, her mm -hmm. um, teeth to have a gap. And, and I'm just like, girl, not everything. Girl, you're going to have to figure something else out. You should have stopped when you started gluing those balls on. Like, she's got a mix of Shangela's looks plus Nina West. Like, all the and worst. And that's an actual dress. A dress. She sewed that fabric together like that to make that dress in those shapes. She did that. She you chose that. She should have just glued it. I mean, it would have gave the same the same effect. Remember, she was the straight queen. Correct, correct. And this was like, okay, I see that now. <laughs> but there was that big flaw law. <laughs> the last one we're looking at is Amethyst. The problem was, on season 15, there really wasn't any bad ones in that first design challenge. Because they were right. They were right. I mean, you can see it's just the fabric draped around. It did turn out better than what she originally had. But the unforgivable part for me is the, the ruffle. ruffle panty. Oh! Girl, we are not a bed skirt. Like who? We don't need a ruffly bottom. I've seen this picture more than once, and now I'm focusing on other things. There is so many things wrong. Now I'm distracted oh. by the gray shawl. There's no point of that color Why or that or that texture. It, like well, no. yeah. If you do get too close, the fabric is tortured too for the hem. Just tortured. But oh, did you yeah, see because that? that material. Yeah, you have and to. I, and I bet you she was. Not use not pulling using it. the right setting for that <laughs> pulling, material. Pulling it. So I'm excited to see if we have any new ones make the list. I hope honestly that that actually was what was a little bit disappointing about that first design challenge on this season is I'm like these are all like there's no one that's so bad it's good. But that because I feel like that's where these fall. Like they're horrible, but you love to talk and look about look correct. at them because they just are crazy. But then you get a, I get secretly offended. Like so, you really thought that that was you came out on the main stage like, like that was that, that yeah. was it. Well, this first design challenge they did on 15 was a little bit early in the season. Mm -hmm. So at that point, the girls aren't as mentally strained. Maybe now, after, especially after the lip sync Lala Perusa, maybe the girls will just be like in their heads more, which can create more uh, chaotic looks. And I'm excited for that. But you know what? Uh, or <laughs> I'm excited I've... for the girls to be mentally unstable. <laughs> Or it may be the girls are, are wearing or using all their good stuff now. It'll be interesting to see what else they're pulling out their closet right. if they're not having to make them. 
right? Not every queen can be a seamstress. I'm by no means not that. However, when I do make a look or put a look together, I know my limits and what I can do and what does. And this, I know what looks flattering on my body. Please don't pretend like this is what I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. Someone's going to be like, you look like that, though. I'm doing Derek Berry. Okay. <laughs> um, queens like Selena who have great concepts. They just don't, they come out sometimes a little wackadoo. Or because, or they don't have enough time, so you want to do this. Or time. Or you literally time. trying to do like this big elaborate thing, and then you oh, you have half the time to do it. And so then it looks like that because you didn't think it through. There wasn't time to finish it, yeah. You were trying to be extra and you try to do the most. That. Right. When you needed to, you know, stick to your strengths. So those are the ultimate design disasters. That was fun to look Ooh. at, wasn't it? It was. It was very, very fun to look you at. Do you feel like you learned any lessons personally? Um, what not to do. Well, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, that's all this list is for. <laughs> I've also seen some cute concepts or ideas that I can spin and make you them cute. Yeah, like, that's I, true. I, can, I definitely can see. That's what I kept thinking as I was putting the Tin Man together. I'm like, I would, I could make a cool Tin Man. This just ain't it. Just like you said earlier, like, if boy. someone in the work room would have been like, hey, girl, change that. Yeah. Because that would definitely be me. I'd be like, oh, the girl, hold on, do that. Take that off. <laughs> right. Sometimes someone has to step in. But at the same time, you want people to go home, too. So maybe that's why they let Lala walk out like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let us know your ultimate design disasters. And if we missed any, uh, not the boring ones, though. Like, you yeah, know, we want, Make we want disastrous. We're going to head on out of here for now. And I have one last thing to say. Glad you got to see us. Bye. Peace.